Aloha everybody. I'm back in Tana for the weekend, which is the capital city of Madagascar. For the last two weeks, I've been in Montesu, which is where the Peace Corps Training Center is. And I've been training the new group of trainees that will become Peace Corps volunteers after three months. And uh, it's been so awesome just to give back, you know, whatever experience I have, share all my crazy stories with them and seeing them grow from the beginning. Uh, and it's, it's just a cool way to end your service, you know, I get to end it where it all started. So that's awesome. Yeah, so right now I'm about to head out to my friend's house. He was a co-worker that I worked with during my uh, third year extension. I worked for an organization called Mahefa Miataka, which is a community health organization. So I'm going to go out. It's about a two hour bike ride and I'm going to meet up with some other friends, some Malagasy friends, and we're going to bike there together. But, you know, I got Uncle Duke Kahanamoku with me. Shout out to my friend Aja for sending this to me. Yeah, so I have Uncle Duke with me and I'm not worried because, you know, he was a surfer and a swimmer and I haven't surfed or swam in a while. And they say it's like when you don't do something for a while, it's like riding a bike and I'm riding a bike. So I'm pretty sure that's logical. Well, better put on my helmet because if I don't, I'll get kicked out of Peace Corps. Okay, I'll put it on after I put, turn off this video. Okay, now I'm good. Good to go. I won't get kicked out of Peace Corps. Peace Corps is like, hey, you're already white and you stick out. Why not give you this big blue helmet to make you stand out even more? So thanks, Peace Corps. All right, so here we go. It's going to be about two hours in this really nice hot weather. Got Uncle Duke with me. It's like riding a bike, right? So I don't really have a plan for this video. I just want to take you guys on on this ride and maybe meet some Malagasy people. I don't know what we're gonna do, but yeah, I just want to get a video out every single weekend. So wait, who's your theory? Hey, so it's my friend. Yeah. What's Hello, your name? Joseph. Joseph. Yeah, he's Malagasy, but he speaks perfect English. Yeah. And right now we're in front of an epicery where you can get snacks and yogurt. And yeah. we're almost to my friend Mafaka's place. Yeah, so we're just gonna eat some yogurt and uh, head up. Yeah. <laughs> This is what Malagasy money looks like. It's called Ari Ari. So 1,000, 2,000, and some smaller ones. This is about equivalent to a dollar in the United States. So I can get a lot. So this I this yogurt was is 900 Ari Ari. So. Yeah. So two hours later and we made it. Salam ah. dole. Ah, salam dole. Kanaka, 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 kanaka. Is that no nara now? Ne nara kwa. Swatat. He speaks English. I try. Yeah. <laughs> this is Jack. Yeah. The one and only. The one and only. Salam dole. Salam. Salama. Masala for full day. Yeah. Salam. Salva maka videos. Aye. Ana. Ana de. As a manager, Merabol, Safe Hello. This is Mafaka. Ah, yes. <laughs> you know then? It's me. Yeah. This is my coworker. He's my Zuki, my older sibling. Yeah. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. We're gonna go eat now. We are. We are in uh, in, in Nambujanaka now. Yeah. Nambujanaka. It's in the suburb. Mm -hmm. Two so hours outside of the two city. Two hours, but they are so weak. Yeah. So it's just normally it's one one hour only, but they are so weak. They are already old. <laughs> Hey, I couldn't remember the road, so it took me two hours to get here. But here is what we call Tung Tumbi. It's the feet of a zebu. 
But this thing is yamalicious. <laughs> the way you eat it is like this. <laughs> so good. Mm. It's really bright, but we're gonna go eat some soup right now. Hang out. I don't know. Cool people. Cool people, yeah. There's some other people I haven't met here. We'll go walk around and see his property. It's pretty nice. Got some ducks. Chin -chin. Oh, you know you? Tanala? Wow, look at that. That wood. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff you find in Madagascar. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. So there's some other people here that I just met. This is Rivu. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And his wife, Sam. Sam. Yeah, Sam. And they both lived in uh, the United States for a couple of years. So they speak English. Yeah. yeah. In Texas, right? Uh, Florida and then Texas, yeah. Boston, Washington, D.C. Kind of random to meet somebody, a Malagasy person that speaks okay. English in the middle of nowhere. And Nicole, right? Yeah. Nicole, and sh she lives in Germany. That's right. Yeah. But you're, what is your background? So you're... I'm half Malagasy, half German, but I live in Germany. <laughs> and you're here in the boonies of Madagascar. That's right. Yeah. You never know how your day is going to go when you go and adventure out in Madagascar. You just meet the randomest people in the randomest place. <laughs> yeah, mountain of kids, so like, yeah, it's for Maneo. This is Maneo. Yeah. Yeah. She is my daughter. <laughs> and we, we work together at Mahefa Miyaraka. Yes. We went on some missions. We made the movies in Canada too. Yeah. <laughs> Good movies. Yeah. And PHE movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll put the link of Mahefa Miyaraka and PHE, our PHE video, in the description below. You can check it out. All he cares about is food. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hungry. This yeah. is great Malagasy food. Yeah. If you ever in Madagascar, you cannot leave the island without. Eating. That doesn't look that good. Without eating what we call tungutumbi. Tungutumbi. But Aizanivari. Uh, no, actually. There's no rice. Oh, those guys. Yeah. Aizanivari. Sisivari. Sisivari. Falani, Vadli Santara, Bevo Tung. Falani. She might miss Ivari. She might miss Ivari. Avakaman, Miss Vari, could be Avakaman, Fartsik. Okay. And that's something for me. So, Mafaka's gonna show us around his property. This is um, orange. Orange. It's a big tree. Oh, a lychee tree. Lychee tree. This is uh, the border of my land. Mm -hmm. So he wants to build a house <laughs> over here. Yeah. Here. This is where they get water. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> Hello, it's me. Bro, don't fall in there. I won't fall in there. Uh -huh. Let I'm me stuck. hold you. Let me hold you, man. Just make sure you don't fall in. It's so beautiful out here. It's the most beautiful place in Tana. <laughs> he says it's the most beautiful place in Tana. <laughs> I mean, I, it's hard to argue against that. <laughs> so he's gonna add fish. some fish here. Fish pond. Mm -hmm. This is eucalyptus. You can smell it. Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Really nice. That's a pomegranate tree. Eucalyptus citro dora. This is the garden tree. Mm -hmm. We'll grow lettuce, spinach, carrot, cabbage. <laughs> Everything. Everything. Yeah. Corosol is a type of, uh, I don't know what it is in English. I don't know. I don't know yeah. English. But it's, it's growing well now. Yeah. Corosol juice is awesome. 
Apple. Oh, apple tree. Apple tree. Do you see tree of Dora as well? You can look at this. It's gonna be a big tree. Big Oof. tree. This is taller than me now. <laughs> it's just eight, eight months almost, or six. So this is kind of a look into the life of Malagasy people in the countryside. So Mafaka is really into gardening and growing his own stuff and he's just super into the environment, which is awesome. I think everybody should be more self-sustainable and grow their own stuff. I personally don't really know how to grow stuff, but one day I'll learn. It. I don't know what the English name is for this, but it's called Vonatindra. Vonatindra. Something to make you... Oh, Pok Pok. Yeah. Oh yeah, pok pok. Is that the English name? Pok pok. It is. It is. Yeah. yeah it so is. you can just eat it. Like this. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of wanted to do the example because I wanted to eat it, but it's okay. Mm. <laughs> I don't think there's any other left. There's one left on the top. Where? Right here. Oh, here, here, here. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, pok pok. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> Good stuff for them. Nectarine. Mm. Wow. This is green pepper. Empty mangas fig. Oh, uh, cassava. Inze. 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 Empty mangas fig. So you. This is cassava. So they crush these leaves and they make it into a super good dish called rabi tutu. It's one of my favorite dishes. So we will grow sugar cane as well uh, soon. Next week, over there. This is avocado, Kamak. Huh? Avocado. It's avocado. Sand. This is sweet potato. Sweet potato. We got some papaya sightings here. Look at the. Look at that. Would you just look at it? Man, I love papaya. It's making me miss a, my papaya tree at my grandma's house back in Hawaii. Grandma, if you're watching this, I miss it. Love you so much. So Jack here studied in Oklahoma for four years. What yeah. school again? Southwestern Christian University. Mm -hmm. And he's a baller. Yeah. Even though he's kind of short. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. <laughs> Keep thinking. <laughs> it's the size of the fight in the dog. Hey. <laughs> no, he's probably the best out of everybody. Except when I'm guarding him, then he can't make anything. All offense, no defense. He's like James Harden. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> no, actually, he's good at this. He's good at everything, even English. What kind of what kind of tree is that? Hmm? It's called a chicken chicken tree. <laughs> a moving chicken tree. <laughs> if you didn't know, he said this is what a banana tree looks like because I've never seen one before. It's such a bit like a you're welcome. <laughs> Saro Fantata. That's, that's a guava tree. <laughs> guava tree. Yeah, guava, guava tree. tree. These are sunflower guava. trees. Yeah, sunflower trees. And just the beautiful background. <laughs> so I think that's kind of it for the tour. Yeah. Don't forget the tips for the guide, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah. I got some uh, some money. Okay, thank you. <laughs> this is for, for her uh, college tuition. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's kind of just like a weekend vlog. I'm going to head back to Montessu on Monday. Uh, hopefully, we can get in another basketball game before I leave well, with these guys. Play. You better yeah. play with us. Yeah, I'm hoping. I only got a few more videos in me before I head back to Hawaii, like mid-November. But yeah, things are going to get busy at Montessu with training all the new volunteers. So I might not have that much time. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. and. Hope you enjoyed meeting some of my friends. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, maybe watch my other videos, share with your friends. I'm gonna miss this place when I'm gone. Uh, it's really my, my second home. Oh, wait. I think there's something else he wants to show me. This kind of beans, I don't know. Some, some beans, it's called kalamak? Uh, it's butter beans. Yeah. Butter beans, there's some butter beans here. Kalamak yeah. or kabar. It's so tasty. It's yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, that's about it today. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. Until we meet again. Ahui ho, kako. All right, so I forgot that we have to bike back two hours <laughs> back to where I live, so that's gonna suck. But you know, that's that's how it is. That's life here. We're not allowed to ride motorcycles, so I gotta ride. Dang, these. Oh, they're so annoying.
Uh, there's three three sounds that I hate here. It's the zzzz of the mosquito at night. These guys right here. And what is the other one? Oh, and then this, when you hear this at home. Which is a rat on top of your roof. Okay, so for real now, gonna head home, gonna relax, gonna edit this video. Oh, wait. I keep thinking this video is gonna end, but I guess not. What's over here? Oh, we got a punching bag here. <sighs> Joe's just showing me something. Hey, little doggy. Wild ducks. Oh, some wild ducks. Look at this. Look at these little guys and girls. Wow, so cool. Hey. I gotta go pee before we head out. So this is what a cabinet looks like. It's like uh, an outhouse. And you open it. And, oh, this is an interesting one. I've never seen it like this. Just basically, I mean, you can't smell it right now. I can smell it, but yeah, I'm not, I'm, TMI, I'm not gonna show you anymore. All right, I'm gonna go pee. I'll see you in a bit. All right, that was nice. Man, nothing like a good pee in a cabune. Gonna miss uh, using those cabunes, those outhouses. And just heads up, don't bring your phone like I did when you go use number two in that place because people have dropped their phones inside of that. And good luck finding it. It's like that uh, scene from, uh, what is that? That scene from uh, Slumdog Millionaire. Except your phone, not your purse, not yourself, hopefully. We have to bike back and our butt and our, <laughs> our legs are sore. But we gotta do it. It's already like 5.30 here. So we gotta get back before dark, but we'll see if that happens. We got here in two hours. Maybe yeah. we can get there in like hour and a half. I don't know. Seven thirty. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really excited. <laughs> yeah, me too. But that's the life in Madagascar. Most people bike or go on taxi bays, which is it's a local bus. But when there's traffic, biking's the best because you can yeah. just weave between all the cars. Wish us luck. <laughs> Not that yes. I yeah. Now this is finally the end of this video. You can go on and live your life. Okay? Alright. Hey, Veluma. Veluma. Veluma, Manara can dry. Yeah, Sadra. Ahui ho kako. Her name is Maneu. Maneu. She will. What does Maneu mean? Maneu means to express, to express. Your, your feeling. No, oh, to show. Yeah, to show yeah. your feeling. Yeah. Maneu. That's that means Maneu. 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 So she will uh, study in the US. <laughs> yeah, she will visit Uncle Kamaka. Yeah, and Uncle Kamaka yeah. in Hawaii. Yeah. Don't uh, lose this video. <laughs> <laughs> That's a promise.